Hi, it's going to be a reading for Libra. Right, Libra. It's going to be your summer in the rising. It's for December, at the end of December. Um, it's called a rotten apple spread. <laughs> so there's like five cards. Uh, yeah, so there's five cards. We'll pull, and we won't clarify, we'll just read from the book. It just helps me to get to know these cards, really. Right, let's go. It says, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. And bottom of the pile is which? So that is your energy for the reading, Libra, is which? We'll find out what which is about. 43. If I ever get there, there's Wolf, which should be next. Witch, here we go, sorry. Yeah, when the witch appears, believe that you are wiser than you know, and the thousands of years of wisdom from the wise, ancient ones, are available to you now. If you are finding your path to magic, this card is confirmation that you should continue to explore your craft. If you have experience with, if you are an experienced witch, know that it's time to dig even deeper, perhaps set up a priestess and start your own coven. This message is even stronger if you have pulled the healer card. So we've got coming of winter. So what do you need to be aware of right now? And that's coming of winter. 11, if that's relevant. So we must all take refuge within ourselves from time to time. Our souls need the energy of the winter to slow us down so that we can conserve our strength for when we need it. A harsh lesson, but learning to face the winters of our life prepares us for facing the future. Take time to reflect on your choices and consequences. They reveal, look for ways to elevate the path you've walked and learn from your mistakes and celebrate your triumphs without harsh judgment. When the winter winds blow into your spread, it's time to take self-reflection. Failure to learn from your experience often causes the repeat of mistakes. It's time to review your choices you've made without the opinions of others. What choices made your heart happy? What choices left you numb or lacking in inspiration? What is holding you back? And what resources could you use more of? Use the answers to the questions like, like to get a better understanding of what truly makes you happy and to form a plan to start shifting your life towards the image of of your choice of your choosing yeah so what you need to be aware of is not repeating all this again because you've actually got you could go on and do some with this witch but if you go back and do it all again you're going to get stuck in this rut for another year libra is what that says to me um what you can do to protect yourself from this energy so from going back into this grand hog day with and then doing another year before you can actually restart doing what you really are meant to be doing that's a long time but we've done it <laughs> okay wolf the wolf calling to remind you that you know your way home. You may feel lost or confused about something in your life. You may not know which direction to travel or what is safe to pick up along the way. Wolves allow your instinct to take over. You receive this guidance through the urges you feel. It's like a push and pull right in the centre of your being. Take a few moments to feel these urges when faced with a decision. You can start with something small like which toothpaste to buy or which blog to read. This will help you build the trust in your instincts. Eventually you'll be able to tap into the energy at will and use it for every decision you make in life. 
instinct, intuition, I guess, from the powers that help that be to help us discover happiness, support and well-being. Intuition is our inner knowing that connects us to the intelligence of spirit realm and the intelligence of earth. Sadly, many of us have muted our, na our animal natures. We've become too reliant on what we can see and have forgotten to tap into the intelligence that is already available to us. So you need to use your intuition. That is what... Um, can protect yourself from this energy is your intuition. Your intuition tells you Libra not to go near this person. <laughs> You're better off not to. The third one is what lesson what is the lesson of this situation? You've got nature spirit. She's 26. So the world of Fae has existed alongside the human world for millennia. Our Celtic ancestors saw and believed in fairies. To them, fairies played a role in a bigger world than what meets the eye. They are a reminder of things that are priceless in this life, and often magic is missing in everyday life. If you have poor nature spirits, it could be because you have overlooked details in the daily grind. There are small things in your life that are sacred, but have not being given their proper space this could be a family member or a project in your home it could be yourself when was the last time you felt genuine joy had a big belly laugh or felt truly loved and supported you are being asked to be mindful of the little things in life these things are calling for you desperate for your attention they are a reminder that the small things in life that are also make the world go round Right, Libra, that's your lesson in this situation. <laughs> okay, and your, oh, when I was, when I, I got grief twice for you when I was flipping. So that's quite relevant. This is your additional advice. And that's number 20. Yeah. Grief is uncomfortable dance between feeling everything and feeling nothing. It isn't exclusive to losing someone. Grief can manifest when you feel like a failure or when you have regret. It can appear when you feel overwhelmed or when you feel guilty. It can leave you feeling it's all then feeling nothing or even feeling both at the same time. Like, likewise, we can be lost in our own grief that we forget to live. We mourn for things that we have long since slipped through our fingers. We find ourselves in a sort of limbo, living half dead. This is what happens when you spend too much time searching for and, and missing what you have lost and forgetting to be grateful for what is for what's left behind. Pulling grief can mean you have a lack of satisfaction about where you are in your life, what you have, or perhaps more appropriate, when you don't have. You're putting too much of your focus on what is missing and have cut out off the rest of the world. There are still people and opportunities for you, if you only lift your head and take a look around. Yeah, life still goes on when you suffered a loss, mourn for the things you wanted and didn't get, or had and lost, but be sure to keep going. The universe never takes something away without giving something new in its place. And then the last one, Libra, is your outcome, and that's intuition. It's 23. So intuition is one of our superpowers that come in into this life with you to help nav navigate the human experience. Intuition is something that you feel rather than think or see and cannot be perceived with the rational mind. Within those feelings, you will find answers for everything from what to eat to whether you should go on that date to who you can trust. Your intuition is always 100% offering you wisdom and guidance in the form of how you feel. You're being asked to develop your second sight further when you are holding the intuition card. You must learn to navigate the world through your spiritual GPS rather than relying on your rational mind to show you the way. The ego plays an important role but should be guided by your intuition, the higher self. The ego and your intuition should work together to help you approach life through both logic and feeling. 
there is nothing in this life that can be accomplished with one or the other. Uh, your intuition is your driver and your ego your car. Both are needed to get you to your destination. All right, Libra, so you need to use your intuition like a lot. And, uh, and don't repeat the cycle. It's no good for you. Anyway, love and light. Take it easy. Bye, Libra.